Hello, in this video I'm going to be checking out another new plugin from Kit Plugins. This one is called MoQ and it's based on a EQ that was built by Motown engineers back in the 60s. And it's another Blackbird Studios piece. So it's emulating a piece of hardware that's in Blackbird Studios in Nashville. And the guys at Kit Plugins reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to take a look at it. And I really enjoyed their previous plugins, the N105, Core Comp and Core EQ. So I was totally open to that. So I have a sort of a grunge rock track here that I'm going to just test it out on. It's already got most of the processing that it needs on it, but I'll remove some of the EQ and replace it with the MoQ. It's quite a unique EQ in some ways, and I'll show you just in Plugin Doctor what it's doing. In terms of the EQ curves, they start out quite gentle, and then the more gain that you drive into it, the tighter the Q gets. Now, my understanding is it's supposed to be quite a passive EQ, so in, in terms of harmonics, it's probably not adding a great deal. But it's the way that the bands sort of interact with each other. So if I take that one back and adjust this one, it'll go up into a point. But if I adjust this one, they seem to sort of respond in relation to each other. which is quite interesting, and the cuts and the boosts. So you can get some really interesting curves going on. But what I'll do is I'll just go in and I'll see how it sounds, which is the important thing, and uh, test it out on this track. So as I say, this is a sort of a grunge rock track. I'll go and I'll find Sonoma Studios just to give me a nice, fairly dry sound. So this is the previous plugin from Kit Plugins, which is not actually doing anything. It's just there to show you one of their other plugins. This is from the Blackbird Studios. Really good. I'll replace it with the Moe Q. at the minute most of the EQ in this is coming from Big Al from the old it's a plug-in lines plug-in that I picked up on seal just recently really nice saturator what I'll do is I will just I'll reset the high frequency and the low frequency boosts. And then we'll adjust those with the MoQ. Trying to game match. So 
sounding great in the drum bus. This right on the bass. Again, I was using Big Al. Keep the saturation and just put the high and the low boost to neutral. I'll take, leave the low cut on. Again, sounding really good on the bass. I'll try it out just on the individual guitars here. So this one's sort of slightly breaking up overdrive and this one's fairly clean. Again, I just got big all on those. So reset that back to zero. Again, sounds really nice. Big L in the neutral. Leave the saturation on. Up at 50.
very smooth. Also has update times over sampling, but uh, I don't want to stress the Cubase performance meter too much. adding 0.14 samples of latency basically or 0.1 milliseconds I get these all on the same the same insert slots. I can link these channels and do an AB. So I'll just link the inserts. Bypass one of them, it should bypass them all. So when they go grayed out, that's it bypassed. So yeah, hopefully that gives you a good idea of what you can do with the Kit Plugins Blackbird MoQ plugin. It's actually really, really nice, really smooth sounding. Visually, how the curves looked in Plugin Doctor when you sort of push the EQ or cut doesn't really do it any justice. You need to actually use it and see how the different bands interact with each other. And when you're pushing them, you can push them quite hard and it doesn't sound extreme or harsh or which is not what you would expect given what Plugin Doctor was sort of saying there. So, yeah, really cool plugin. Definitely worth checking out. Hopefully you find this video helpful, and I will be back with another video soon. Cheers.